If you haven't relearned how to crawl yet, you can do one of two things. Hang your head in shame and punch yourself in the face, or follow this video. Okay, so first and foremost, I see a lot of things passing as uh, crawling, and they really don't count. So here's what a couple of them look like. All nice attempts, but not quite. First and foremost, if you want to learn how to crawl properly, you need to understand why crawling even matters. Number one, it's excellent for your strength. Me personally, my pressing and squatting strength have gone way up since I've started crawling on a regular basis. Pulling strength has even gone up as well. Um, in addition to that, eye-hand coordination has gotten much, much better as you have to learn how to link the disparate parts of your body together. A lot of people's training attempts to separate or isolate people's parts from each other, for example, chest day, leg day, back day, etc. But if you've ever hoisted anything that's actually heavy, you know that you need your entire body for everything. So learning how to use your body and connect your body and all the parts, one to each other, very, very important. Also, as Dr. Perry Nicholson of uh, Stop, Chasing Fame, uh, Stop Chasing Pain on Facebook has pointed out, if you don't run well, you probably don't crawl well either. So crawling is very, very fundamental in all sorts of different and higher level movements. So one of the great things about crawling is that it teaches you, reteaches you, how to build your reflexive force stability. And uh, it does this through cross-lateral movement patterns, meaning opposite sides work at the same time. So one of the reasons you see people walking around or people uh, doing crawling and they're trying to do it on the same side is because they don't have that movement pattern anymore. They do, but it's tucked away. So there are a couple of steps that you can go through in order to regain them. First and foremost, before you start crawling at all, start doing the, the first three exercises and then mix them in to a crawling pattern. So here's how they're going to look. First one is a cross crawl. So what you're going to do, you get on your back, push your low back into the floor, and you're going to just touch opposite sides just like this. If mobility is an issue, that's fine. Just touch with your hands, but make sure your opposite sides touch. This will teach you how to move cross laterally and it's very, very easy to do in the beginning. Next one is the dead bug. So from here, again, cross lateral pattern. To start off with, place the opposite hand on the opposite leg. Bring the arms down. Arms and legs down, like so. Once you're good at that, you can do it without. And then from there, to go into the bird dog. Bird dog is the uh, beginning of what the crawling pattern is going to look like. So from here, opposite leg, arm out, and you can add a touch in the middle, again with the hand if you need to, but elbow if you can. Touch, so I press out, touch, and repeat. So from there, you can begin the actual crawling. First, I would recommend that you get some of that time, some time under your belt with these things. Take maybe a week or two to do them, and then start adding in the following. What you're going to do, getting into your crawling pattern like this, or your crawling position, I should say. You're going to touch opposite sides. Up. Before I get to that, keep a big chest, eyes straight forward, and relax as much as possible. If you want to regain your reflexive stability, you don't want to be too tense intentionally. In too tense intentionally, that'll be good for uh, other heavier exercises. But for this, not really. So, big chest, eyes straight forward, and touch opposite sides, reach out, and put it one step forward. Touch opposite sides, reach out, and one step forward. Same thing works backwards. Touch opposite sides, arms and legs out, one step backwards. Touch opposite sides, arms and leg out, one step backwards. I'm not the only person to have done this. A colleague of mine, Jody Beasley in Alabama, has also done, with, done this with his clients and with great success. So it's not just something I've made up, it's something that others are using and very, very effectively. So once you can do that, the next thing that you can do is get rid of the bird dog. Just touch, put down. Touch, rest down. Touch, and down. Same thing backwards. Touch, down, touch, down. And from there, it should be pretty easy. Just crawl. 
It goes without saying that the exact same thing goes when you're doing it on your hands and feet like this. So, try that out, give it a shot, and uh, utilize some crawling at the end of your current program. If you're doing some strength training or kettlebell training, I guess follows under the strength training category, or really anything, throw in some crawls like that at the end, I think you'll be amazed by how quickly you'll start to move better, feel better, and get a lot stronger in a very short amount of time. So if you like this tutorial, please feel free to like it, share it with your friends and anybody you think would be interested in it, and be sure to check me out on my website and Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, etc., etc. I'll put all the information in the uh, box below. In the meantime, stay tuned. There's going to be a uh, video on how to crawl for 10 minutes, as well as a crawling variety video. In the meantime, hammer out. Uh,